YouTubers, greetings. Greetings again from the Grand Overlord. Now, as I promised in my last vlog, today I will be giving a cosmic point of view as to why homosexuality is an abomination. Now, if you have a Bible, one of these, turn to Genesis chapter 37, verse 9. Now, Here's a little backdrop to this story. It deals with Joseph. Now, if you're familiar with biblical stories, you'll know that Joseph is the son of Jacob, who was the son of Isaac, who was the son of Abraham. Now, you should know that these are the three main biblical patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. But I'm not going to go into um, details on that now. Just open your Bibles and you can read that story later but anyway this account deals with Joseph the son of Jacob and it's in Genesis chapter 37 verse 9 and it reads and he dreamed yet another dream and told his his brothers and said behold I have dreamed a dream more and behold the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me so Joseph is saying, well, I had a dream, and the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. Now, if you are aware of this story, you will know that by the interpretation of it, that the sun was referring to his father, the moon, his mother, and the eleven stars were his brothers. Now, here's the point I'm trying to make here. The Bible uses these planetary bodies to describe or use them as symbols in place of people. The sun being his father, the planet his mother, and the eleven stars his brothers. So the Bible uses the stars to describe men and planets to describe women. Okay, now, here's my question. I'm not sure if you're familiar with chemistry, but what is one of the primary elements of the sun? If you answered helium, sorry, if you answered helium, you are absolutely right. Notice the he in helium, H-E, masculine. There is a reason for that. Helium, masculine, as a man. And a planet is like a woman. That is why Earth is called Mother Earth. Which is why the Earth orbits around the sun. It rotates around the sun to receive its light from the sun. Just like a man and a woman work in harmony together to create life, a new child, which is why we do not exist in a realm where there are more than one sons, because that would totally work against science. No life could sustain itself under such intense radiation. Think about it. If you have any comments, just post them on my um, page and if I'm ready I promise I will answer you as best as I can next time I will try to give another explanation as to why this matter is such important in the years to come but in any case good day for now youtubers